we're going to go to Mississippi. Jackie, no pronouns, is a theist, wants to talk to us today. Hey, Jackie, you are talking with SR and Jim Barrows. What's up? Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. So basically, I just called in to discuss um, the case for religion from Friedrich Wilhelm Joseph Schelling's philosophy of communicative rush. Uh, communicative revelation. Are you you guys familiar with Schelling's philosophy? Nope, I am not. I would also like to ask real quick, and I'm happy to just give you the floor afterwards, but just a a quick yes or no for me. Um, Is Friedrich Schelling's philosophy of communicative revelation the thing that made you believe? Uh, Not exclusively. Cool, awesome, great. Go on, you can tell me about it, but fascinating to know that that's the argument you bring. Uh, go ahead, can we, Jackie. Can we give him like two minutes? Yeah, to we can summarize? do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Do you think you'll need two minutes, or do you think you can get it in a minute? We can do the timer twice for you, Jackie. I uh, just give me two minutes, and we'll see how much it takes. Well, okay. let's do it. After the two minutes, we will ungraciously jump in very rudely, but we will give you the floor right now. You got two freaking minutes, Jackie. Give it to us. So basically, um, Friedrich Schelling was a German idealist philosopher around the time of um, Hegel and Kant. And basically his philosophy, which was called Nature Philosophy, I I forgot how to pronounce it in the original German, but basically he believed that through um, communication, through um, speech, we could basically reveal um, the ideal of the absolute into nature. And basically um, this is sort of similar to what Jordan Pearson talks about with the logos being um, the basis for um, connection to the divine or what Carl Jasper is called um, basically like transcendent communication. Um, basically the, the idea is that the logos or speech is a effective way at um, bringing the transcendent down to earth. And in this sense, um, this is very different to, from say Jacques Derrida or Helen Cissoy, um, who are these um, postmodernists who is called the West Thal logocentric. They basically said the Western priority on the logos is essentially oppressive and patriarchal and should be deconstructed. And I mean, Helen Sisoy um, was this um, uh, Lacanian psychoanalyst who basically said that um, the very notion of reason was made for um, male dominance over females. And um, even though Derrida didn't really talk much about patriarchy, he was certainly um, for deconstructing meaning and didn't believe you could get a singular meaning from text. Whereas I would argue, and Jordan Pearson and many other thinkers would argue, including Schelling, that by um, through speech, we basically bring the divine absolute into our everyday means of communication. And um, I would essentially agree with this. I would say the priority that um, having the humility, you could be wrong and communicating allows one to bring, you could say, eternal values down to earth, if that makes sense. No. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, it, 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 it sounds like what you're saying is you can talk a god into existing. Yeah. It, it, I, I'm going to say this, Jackie, and I'm not – believe me, okay? I'm not a PhD or anything. I don't have the, I, I don't have the formalized training in this. What I do have, though, um, is the ability to never stop. And so I'm just constantly watching stuff. There's this guy out there. I don't know if you've heard him, uh, but I like his stuff. Digital Gnosis. Um, he kind of has said something recently kind of in this vein uh, that's really fascinating to me because it sounded to me as if what you were saying is something that I've heard, and it's not perfect, but it kind of sounds like what you're saying is something I've heard a lot of people in uh, academia and in, in the philosophical aspects talk about where they explain to me that when a human being is using a word cup, what they're really doing is, and then they talk for about 45 minutes to to give this fascinating, fascinating tale of how everything, even the most mundane aspects of our lives are grounded in this deep web of thought and understanding and blah, 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 blah. I don't think so. And I think there's really good reason not to believe that. We have data that says otherwise. When individuals that have spent 50 fucking years taking three weeks to come up with a single definition use that word, that's what they mean. The vast majority of people are not doing that. That is not what is happening when it comes to our cognition. We have very good reason to believe that. Not just the understanding of of what's going on 
in the brain, like all those cute little wires and zappy zaps. I'm pretty sure there's a more technical term, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Not just in that, but in literally when we just survey people, we just ask people what they're doing and what they're thinking about. And so I, I get why somebody in this space sees everything through that intense of a lens. But I, I genuinely just don't believe that there is anything to connect that to the world around us. In fact, on, on the opposite, we have stuff that seems to indicate otherwise. It doesn't mean definitively one way or the other, but it's really fucking shaky on your side of the argument. Okay, well, can what, I ask you, what do you a, think? a quick question? Sure. Yes, uh, well, I would, so let me ask you this. Are you convinced of the proposition that the transcendent spirit of the Logos, when manifested in our embodiment of our being in the world, will um, bring about, um, let's say, um, sacred values? I have I am no not, idea what that word yeah, solid means. Yeah, I am not convinced of that because the vast majority of those words do not have anything tangible when it comes to a definition. If uh, you just, can... If you can sit here and tell me what actually transcendence is, I'm super down for it, Jackie. You would be the first in 8 billion currently of us fuckers walking around. Nobody's got a good definition yet, and everybody's definition seems to be one of those definitions that it's like just a them thing. So, I don't know, man. Help me out with this. How about this for a definition of transcendence? The pattern okay. of being with the capital B that manifests across time. What is being okay, with hold the on, capital hold, B? Yeah, I was going to say you've done yourself no favors right yeah. off the bat with the cap with the word being <laughs> with being capitalized. So it's now I don't know what I still don't know what you mean by transcendence. I, now I don't know what you mean by being, which means the rest of your definition is equally fucked up so what do you mean by capital b being now and can you do it without getting us into a place where we now have to define something again yes yes um, please well i mean i guess you could say it's sort of similar to martin heidegger's distinction between the ontic and the ontological there's a difference between beings with a small b and what discloses being with a capital b to the subject over time are you just talking about existence when you when you mention being? Are you just talking about like like the same the same sense of there must be like um, oh god why 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 am I forgetting the terminology right now? But like is that what you mean by being? Are you just using the word being as as interchangeable for existing? Well, what does it mean to be? In the sense that is that a no, Jackie? That's, that's a pretty easy one. Before. Do you not know what it means to exist? Let me do that. I'll start right there. I'll give you the definition. Are you using being in this moment just interchangeably with the with the word exist? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Okay, cool, um, awesome. I See, that's important. That's an important distinction. That, but... Yeah, that's, I, I understand that there's more to it, but that's really what you're getting at. You're not talking about an entity in the sense of Jim is a being, right, or an atom is a being. You're talking about being as in the gerund of it, as in, be, as in to be continuously, right? Yes. Yeah, cool, existence. Yeah, great, man. I'm, I'm all with you on existence being a thing. Like, things seem to exist. The problem is, here, is that I I don't understand how we get to any place in, in this right here. So far, what we've been talking about, I don't understand how we get to any place that demonstrates anything about being itself. All we're doing currently is saying that these things logically all work. Like, yeah, they do, man. And all dogs are my water bottle, and my water bottle is a dumb fucking shit asshole named Pretzel. And so there we go. All dogs are, you see what I'm saying? Like, logically, that works, but it has no actual relation to the world around us. So I, we, can, we can honestly just go, sure, Jackie, and then give you this and then get to the point where you can't demonstrate anything about it connecting to the world around us. I'd rather not, though. I'd rather actually talk about this thing and say, hey, man, there's the problem with it in and of itself, though, right? 
because I don't think we're ever going to be able to get any connection. I don't think I think if you had something, you'd present it. I think Jordan Peterson would stop going on and making these weird like this is how you be a man videos and he would just show the data. But the reason he doesn't do that in the entire time that he's ever talked online is because he knows he doesn't have it. That's why when that's why when he sat down, for instance, with um, what's his dick, um, not skeptic and not cosmic Alex O'Connor. Um, that's why when he sat down with Alex O'Connor, he didn't give him a straight answer on anything. I mean, he did. Come on, man. He did give him a straight answer on multiple. Fantastic. So what the fuck? What the fuck? Is the connection to reality then? If he gave him a straight answer and you got it and you got the data, Jackie, we don't have to play I around on, a, in the kiddie pool anymore. Stuff. We can go into stuff. If, you, if you're just like, yeah, man, actually, I can show you this. Again, I think there's a lot of data out there that really hardcore demonstrates what you're talking about is a bunch of philosophers sitting in a room going, damn, we so fucking smart. If only everybody else knew how dumb they were compared to us. And again, I'm not the only one saying that. There are, there are many individuals well, well versed in this topic, much more smart than I. And they'll say the same thing. They will say exactly that same thing and then pull the data to back it up. So where's the data? But Where's the Jordan Peterson-esque, Frederick Schelling only specific? Where's the numbers? Give it to me, man. I want the demonstration. Well, if this I, is real, we can show it. Well, I would just argue that um, throughout Western history, the fact that we value truth over ignorance is rooted in the axiomatic metaphysical substrate that the transcendent order what the fuck is a metaphysical substrate i was seeing how many i was seeing how many words he was going to have to define i was seeing how many of them he put in a single sentence that is my favorite favorite thing ever jackie one more time for us start from the beginning we're going to let you go through the whole set of silliness go for it so basically, I would just argue the axiomatic metaphysical substrate mm -hmm. that the West is rooted in is based on the idea that the transcendent, um, you could mm -hmm. say traditionally masculine represented, but I wouldn't mm -hmm. even argue necessarily patriarchal. Um, mm -hmm. Order of the Logos, um, by being embraced, allows us mm -hmm. to value truth over ignorance and that through communication, we um, bring the divine, realm, uh, the divine realm of capital B being into our modality of being on Earth and this mm -hmm. allows, um, encourages one to slay the dragon of primordial chaos that we... Beautiful. Control. All right, I think we're good. We hit 10 I there, Jackie. At yeah. least 10 yeah. Yeah. things we hit that you 10. now need to go in and explain and define I, and I think, prove that it exists, right? Yeah. Like your dragon of chaos. Let's, let's, okay, that's complete word salad. Uh, you know, it... <laughs> This is the problem, right? If you're yeah. going to talk about something that exists, there is only one branch of philosophy you should be using, and that is science. And specifically, physics. That's it. And if you can't do it that way, you can't talk about it, whether or not it's real without or physics physics. because that's how physics is that that's how we describe the universe and what we see in the universe and how the universe works is through physics or metaphysics what is metaphysics then what is it explain it to me metaphysics is the branch of philosophy that studies the nature of um being and um it's pattern i mean met, i'm cause surprised you don't know are you act, genuinely asking me what metaphysics is or do you know the answer i'm asking for your definition because i wanted you to say the thing you just started to say so go ahead keep going metaphysics is the branch of philosophy that doesn't do what it doesn't do what it deals with the nature of reality and it, it doesn't do what that physics does it doesn't provide any evidence or support. It is people sitting around in their chairs saying, God damn, we're so fucking smart because we know what people actually mean when they say the word cup. We've got good reason to, to not believe that. And Jordan Peterson is a big part of that reason to not believe that, man. So, hey, seriously. Go check out Digital Gnosis. Go check out um, Le Dr. Lanch Bush. I love those guys. They have a lot to say. Um, I want you to use metaphysics at some point. Email it to me if you want. 
I want you to use metaphysics to prove to me that unicorns exist, actual unicorns, horses with horns on their head, exist right now on this planet somewhere. Or better, this is even better. Mm. I want you to do this for me. I want you to come up with a metaphysical argument to convince a bank that I have a billion dollars in my account. Or a dollar in my account. It could be either. I mean, if you can prove one dollar, I'm sure you can scale it to a billion. So I think I'm okay with that. I want you to do one of those two things, right? Either a billion dollars in my account, and we know that do what dollars exist, we know that bank accounts exist, and so the bank also has to exist. So it should be my bank, right? And I want you to come up with a metaphysical argument to do that for me. Awesome. You got the challenge, Jackie. We will be waiting, brother.